2011, it has been recorded by the Philippine National Police Women and Children Protection Center that 12,948 cases of violations against women were committed. Out of the almost 13,000 cases, 9,021 were reported cases of violations against women. 1,588 were cases of physical injuries and 832 were cases of rape. The Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act of 2004 aims to protect women and their children from all forms of abuses and violations of their human rights. A common misconception of many Filipinos is that this only applies to married women. Not so as is the case of Vanessa, who was abused by her partner before they got married. Kasi wala, okay, 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 okay talaga kami. As in, sobrang sweet, sobrang ligaw. Ang palalakit pa lang niya sa akin is, parang yun lang, yung konting sampal, hawak, ganyan, ganyan, yun lang. So parang, hindi ko na naisipan na ganun. Parang, nung mag-asawa na lang kami, ewan ko, ganun na siya. Siguro parang, naging paranoid siya nung sa field ng trabaho ko na alam niya na marami ako na mimit na ibang tao ganyan before kasi nagsimula kami siguro mag-away sa mga gamit yun batuhan ng gamit like plato bisan kumakain ako na mainit ang ulo niya babatuhin niya ako ng kinainan ko yung matatapon siya yung ganun Siyempre, sa babae, para sa akin, gusto kong lumaban, pero siyempre, lalaki siya eh. Mas malakas siya kaysa sa akin. As much as possible, sinisave ko yung family ko na gano'n na parang normal lang to sa mag-asawa na magsakitan ganyan. So, minsan ako naman yung bumabalik. Um, siguro parang ngayon, dumating na rin sa point na parang gusto ko na rin ng ano, peace of mind na parang gusto ko na rin respeto yun yung sarili ko na enough na yung ginagawa niya yun sa akin. Para sa akin, para sa lahat na rin, sana ma-realize, uh, isipin nyo muna yung sarili nyo na mahalin nyo muna yung sarili nyo bago kayo mag-ano sa ibang tao. Lumaban kayo, meron naman tutulong na iba like yan, DSWD, Women's Desk, tutulungan naman nila tayo para dun sa mga ginagawa sa atin ng mga partners natin na hindi tama. Good evening, I am attorney Karen Jimeno and you are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. And I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will discuss your rights on the issue of the Anti-Violence Against Women and Children Act. What you need to know when you know someone who is a victim or if you yourself are a victim of domestic violence and what you need to do to stop it from happening again. We'll discuss this very sensitive topic with our two guests who are legal experts on this matter. For tonight, we have with us Colonel Theresa Ann Sid, Chief of the PNP Women and Children Protection Center, and Attorney Claire Luxon, former Executive Director of Women Lead Foundation Incorporated, and is now the Program Officer for Development Alternative with Women, or A New Era or Dawn. Thank you for joining us, Colonel Teresa and Attorney Claire. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for having us here. So let's start first with the case yes. of Vanessa. Yes, let's start first. Uh, what, what, are, what are your thoughts on, uh, you heard the case of, of Vanessa, she was yes. abused. Uh, but just to be was, clear, yeah, yeah. Diba, the <coughs> violation here, she could have even filed uh, a case under the vow C, even before, before they got married, because she mentioned that she na started na saktan before they got married. Yes. So, she can file a case of uh, physical abuse, mm -hmm. which is covered by Republic Act 9262 against her husband. Yes, mm -hmm. 9262 is yes. the anti-violence anti -violence yes. against women and their children act. Yes, and uh, as a remedy, she can all, as long as the threat is there, she can uh, request for an issue once of protective order. Uh, kung temporary, pwede ito from the barangay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, kung she can also request for permanent uh, protection order from the court. Now, yes. uh, this, this law was passed in 2004, yes ma'am? Yes. Yeah, and uh, so, you, you know, you, we were discussing earlier that the, the cases 
uh, you can answer both. Uh, the cases seem to be growing no? on, on a yearly basis. Uh, is that correct, uh, Attorney? Uh, yeah, I so think the PNP statistics would show that. Yeah. Yes, uh, we had recorded uh, cases from 2006 up to 2012, and we had noticed the constant increase, except for 2011, which dropped a little, mm -hmm. and then it increased again in 2012. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Colonel Teresa and Attorney Claire, I'd like to talk more about this protection order because it seems to be the highlight of the law. Dahil we all know pagka nag ka ng kaso, medyo matagal yung pag -andar. But with the protection order, it seems that the relief is very fast. Na yes. kunwari sa case mo ni Vanessa, pagka patuloy siyang sinasaktan or yung, I guess, yung abuse dito, even mm -hmm. psychological, na binabato siya ng plato kahit hindi pa siya tamaan. The, the easiest way to get this protection order is to go where? Okay, uh, yeah, protection order, the easy, well, the, the way to get a protection order is either through the barangay mm -hmm. or through the courts. And tama ka, no? I'm, um, uh, Karen, in your observation that it is really um, a, a fa fast way to get a remedy. And precisely that was the intention of the law, mm -hmm. okay? When we talk about violence against women, we're talking about human rights violation that's happening most of the time within the home, mm -hmm. within the context of an intimate partnership. Mm -hmm. So they don't no. have to be married. They don't yeah. have to oh. be yeah. married. Like no. Vanessa, for instance, you don't have to be married to be able to to avail of that remedy. Yeah. It's it's uh, enough that you, ha you are intimate. Mm -hmm. That's the operative factor. And uh, you know, dating relationship, mag on, mag on, no? yeah. mag -on mutual understanding. You so know, a casual, a, a, a casual tryst. You meet, you meet each other in a club, you go together, and you have uh, something going on. Is that is that covered already? Something going on would be, I would say, sexual Pahum relationship, one -night like a yeah, one night yeah. stand. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that would yes, be covered. Even if you had just dated once. Mm. Dated once. Yes. Ah, wow. so guys, be guys, careful, be careful. Because ah, kasama dito stalking, de ba? Oh. So if you stalk your date, tako, you can be. <laughs> yeah. Pwede kayo maging liable against this law, right? Yeah. So and, that, so, um, and what's yes. important also about what you know that what Vanessa said is, it's important to have that self-respect mm -hmm. because it's usually abuse. In the context of intimate relationship, the first thing that crumbles is that self-respect. Right. You mm -hmm. know, it's not. It's not your body, you know. Yeah. You can't hide it, eh? But it's the first thing that crumbles. The you know the self-esteem, the self-respect, and in fact, it's it because it's crumbled already. That you know you can, you can take in the physical and you know m more violent acts. I see. Yeah. So. Now, okay. Now we have to answer a few questions. Uh, okay. There are a few questions from our, our viewers. Uh, can we have those uh, those questions right now uh, from the help of our guests? Our first question comes from um, let's see, Regina. And uh, she asks via Twitter, what are the laws that protect me as a woman from uh, abusive partners? What do these uh, laws cover? Um, so I, I think we answered that already, right? Uh, and and there are different kinds of abuses. Okay, yeah, yeah. The physical abuse, and ah, okay. that also uh, includes the battery. Yes. Um, that can be covered as well by the revised penal code, right? Or you, yes, you a physical injuries, oh. pero kung may intimate relationship, okay. it will be under this law. Pero ma'am, hindi lang, uh, I understand it's not just actual physical yes. uh, violence, no? If there's a threat, of uh, physical violence, yes. or you restrict someone's free, a woman or a child's freedom uh, with the threat of violence. Yes. That's that's enough. And then right? you also have that oh. sexual uh, mm -hmm. abuse, mm -hmm. economic abuse, okay. yan naman yung non support, yan. Oh. Mm -hmm. and then yung psychological, yung uh. emotional anguish. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Now I, I I also heard that yung mga yung psychological nga, the psychological part. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of a lot of. Uh, acts are covered there, right? I, I, I even uh, read in the law that abusing someone's pet or a woman's pet yes. or an animal is, is, is covered, Killing, right? like, yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes, you know why? Because precisely this law, mm -hmm. you know, it's a really, an, it's a beautiful law because it actually reflects the experiences of women. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the experiences of women at the mm -hmm. ground level that has been codified. It has been mm -hmm. brought up to the policy level and has been mm -hmm. made into a law. So ito yung mga kwento, I always say, ito yung mga kwento ng kababaihan. Mm -hmm. Women are being abused in so many kinds of ways. Men are getting kasama creative in the way kasama that they abuse. Kasama hurting their pets. Yes, so kasama hurting their, their pets. In fact, yeah. in, in one of the cases that I, you know, I handled, well, I counseled the woman, I told her, why can't you just leave? You have no children. Why don't you just go home to your family? You know? And then she said, Attorney, kasi ang dami naming aso. Mm. Oh. And if I leave, kawawa yung mga aso. And for her, that's valid, you know? I mean, 
maybe for us, yeah. well, I'm an animal lover and I would understand, but you know, there are some who really I mean, so many, you know that's how they yeah. get you know they know alam nila yung yeah. the vulnerability yeah. and or then they take advantage spot, of that no? yeah. we have another question and it comes from Michelle and she asks us via Facebook are only married women covered by the anti-violence against women and children's act this is what we already answered earlier diba right? Uh, mm -hmm. You don't have to be married to someone in order to be, to file a complaint against what we call the Vowsi Vowsi Act. Uh, it can be any intimate relationship, as yes. explained by can, Attorney Ke, uh, Claire and uh, Colonel Teresa, and it can even be committed by someone of mm. the same sex. Yeah, mm. well, can, can you clarify that? How, how, as long how as they happen? have their uh, relationship, so it can but, be but it has two to be women two, two in women a relationship. Yes. No, it can't be two men. It cannot be two men. No, it cannot no, be two men. No, because this is yeah. violence against women. Yeah, yeah so, so it the doesn't cover gay men. The offended party here. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, this is not a funny, I mean, not the, a funny yeah. joke uh, or a funny question. Yeah. It's, the rule we of have thumb gay, here, yeah. I think, yeah. is that the victim has to be a woman. Okay. Regardless of the offender. Yeah, the no? offender can be a, both a man, man or, a woman, or a woman. But the, vic the offended party can only be a woman. Okay. So in, in cases, let's say, in a woman woman relationship, uh, uh, one woman can file a case against the, the other woman. woman. Yes. So, so, so in other words, the offender can, be, not, can any be anyone. Okay, all right. Yes. There you go. That's, that's as long right as the offended right. is a woman. Okay. All right. Legal Help Desk will take a short break. When we return, we will discuss the Anti-Violence Against Women and Children Act of 2004 further. Stay tuned. Okay. Yeah, sorry. watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. We are still joined by Colonel Teresa Ann Sid of the PNP Women's Desk and Attorney Claire Luxon, former Executive Director of Women Lead Foundation Incorporated. So now we will answer more questions from our viewers. Mm, there's, a, there's, a, there's a question from our viewer. Uh, Sarah asks, uh, let's see, uh, via Facebook, okay. Where can we report cases of abuses or violations, violations against women? Are there any organizations or government agencies that they can go to? Uh, to okay, normally the offended party goes to the barangay, mm -hmm. uh, but you are not uh, prevented mm -hmm. from uh, going to the police stations where we have police women mm -hmm. who man the, or women and children protection desk. Ah, uh, that's great. So me yes. designated desk talaga for yes. mm -hmm. women protection. And uh, uh, you will have the police women or the women uh, of the women and children protection mm -hmm. desk who will attend to you. Yeah. Colonel Teresa, can you clarify what are the advantages of going straight to a police station or <coughs> going straight to the barangay? What are the pros and cons of doing that? Okay, okay. okay um, it depends. No? It depends on the goal of the woman. If the woman just wants to, to stop the violence, then going to the barangay may do. You know, mm -hmm. because the barangay would then issue the protection order, mm -hmm. ordering the person to stop. Mm -hmm. Within no? how many days? It, ha within the same it has days. to be issued within the day. Mm -hmm. It's in the ah, law. It's, right. it's expressed in the law that it has to be issued within the day that it has been applied for, and that it has to be priority. Who will like, then enforce it? The barangay, the barangay people, the barangay okay. officers. Yes. 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 They will have to, yeah, they will have to serve it to the to the man. So you don't so, need a lawyer for this one, right? No. Just in fact, just the law is also expressed that no lawyer is allowed in the barangay. Yeah, you that's know. good. <laughs> yes. oh, lawyers that's make good. it longer. <laughs> kasi. Right, we sorry. have another question from Twitter. Linda asks, what are the steps for filing cases against abusive partners? And are there any additional steps if someone wants added protection from their abusive <coughs> partners? So basically, maybe you can help us uh, give uh, Linda a step-by-step -step procedure kung what they can do. We started one, but right? they can yes. go to the barangay. Image, that is an immediate remedy. Yes. For and then they, they need to file an affidavit or a complaint affidavit or can Pero it be testimony? But isang question, kung paano kung madaling araw, lalo na kung abuse, right? Normally, yeah. oh, misa madaling araw yung 
physical violence or yeah, good point. Yeah. Dapat kasi 24 hours naman yung barangay o available din barangay naman available. Sila. So it should be there. And paano no they don't execute an affidavit because the law uh, is expressed that there has to be a form already in the barangay mm -hmm. that has to be in the local language. Uh, that's okay? Helpful, yeah. So um yeah, they just fill it up mm -hmm. and then um, they can turn the barangay over. Yeah. to the police yes. and then it's the police will take care of the investigation that's where uh, the complainant would uh, execute her affidavit so immediately after that Complain. the barangay head then goes to the, the home and can he prevent the perpetrator the, the maybe the husband or the partner yeah. from, to from, go from, away? from staying in the same uh, <laughs> home? yeah it's yes. in the law right they can yeah. also ask the, ask the law them. enforcement agents to help them yeah, yeah. Uh, take bodily take out yung, yung husband or yeah, partner offender, or boyfriend yes. from the house. The yeah, who's causing threat the threat. Or, in fact, um, even, okay. even if the, the house is owned by the... Yeah. By yes. the well, I just want to be clear, no? The barangay can request, well, if it's a violence ongoing, mm -hmm. um, then they can do all, you know, all the... All kinds of... Yeah, yeah, in their power to, to, uh, to stop the <laughs> violence, stop. right? Okay. Yes. But if the violence is not ongoing, mm -hmm. they cannot actually physically so remove. remove. Ah. Only a court, a court order can do that. Okay. The ah, barangay's okay. power is very limited. So, okay. 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 We, we, we have a caller oh, on the right. line and okay. um, I think the name is Gladys. Good evening, Gladys. Good evening. Hello? Yes. yes. Good evening, Gladys. Good evening. Yeah, I, I have a question lang. Paano ko ba gagawin? Is there a law na pwede kong i-oblige yung husband ko to give yung regular na um, support. yung support sa kid? That's a good question. Yeah. Kasi we're, yung isang misconception <coughs> ng mga tao would be, pag tina, sinabi mong vow si act, it's only because may violence, right? May actual yeah. violence. So, in this case, mukhang hindi binibigyan ng support si Gladys. Uh, how can she get immediate support? Okay, she can, mm -hmm. uh, under the RA-92, mm -hmm. the anti vow si act, one of the um, abusive or violent acts is economic abuse. Mm -hmm. So she can go to court. If she wants to support, lang, no? then she can go to court and ask for a protection order asking for support. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and this is the same steps, right? Gladys, this, yeah. this was the this is basically the same procedure na in explain kanina ni Colonel Teresa mm -hmm. and Attorney Claire that you can first go to the barangay kung accessible sa inyo yun. And mm -hmm. ano yung what would you tell Gladys kung kunwari gusto niya naman, what would be the benefit of going to the court directly? The, the court has a wider power than the barangay. The barangay in that case can only request the man to provide support. They cannot actually order. Okay? Um, but the court can order. Meaning, if the, the man doesn't follow, then there would be, cons there would be punitive right. consequences yeah. for that. And I, I, so I remember as well, Gladys, under the law, they can even compel the employer to withhold his salary yes. para ibigay sa'yo diretso as support. Ah. That's true. Yes, that's, that's a very good point. And so the court can order the employer to withhold and pay directly to the offended party. And it's not just about uh, asking for support. If, let's say, the husband is the one controlling uh, the, the funds, the, conjugal the, the family, funds, yes. or let's say he destroys the property, Those, that's also economic that's abuse. Economic. He destroys yes. the property of... The conjugal property, yes. or the property of the yes, wife. Yes, that's right? economic abuse as yeah. well. I see. Okay. Okay. So now, okay. Now, okay. Next also, question, Rhonda. Rhonda, yes. Asks uh, from Twitter. She asks, "What are the penalties for people who are found guilty of violating the Vowsi Act? Guilty parties would be. Uh, what is what is the penalty? It depends on the act. Right. Okay. Um, it ranges from what we call the arrest of menor, mm -hmm. you know, one day to 30 days until 40 years. Oh. So it depends on the gravity of the act. Now, is there a prescriptive period that we were discussing this earlier? Yes. Uh, uh, so prescriptive yeah. period meaning yeah. pagka hindi oh. nila, kailangan right. mag-file nila with a certain within, period. Uh, yes. a there period. are two kinds of prescriptive period in the law, 10 okay. years and 20, 20 years. So we have to know that these are long compared mm -hmm. to the revised penal code, these are longer. Now the policy, the, the intent behind it was, you know, this is in recognition of the fact that it takes a right. it takes a long time for a woman to come out yeah. and you know complain. So yeah. I can imagine, that was yeah, the I can, I can intention behind the law. Some of them don't want to come yes, out. Yes, of course. Right? Yeah. Uh, yes, it takes a long while. In yeah, fact, when they come out, we always say when they come out, ano na yan? Uh, puno na ang salok. Alam mo, sukdulan na. Matagal na taon na ang pinagtiisan yan. And there are really reasons behind why okay. they don't come up. Come out. All right. Our next question comes from Vanessa, who asked us. 
I suspect that my best friend is being abused by her boyfriend, but she denies it. Ito na yung sinasabi niyo, ayaw mag-come out. But what are the symptoms or signs that the woman is being abused by her boyfriend or husband? And how can I convince my friend to report her case to the authorities? Can I report her situation in her behalf, but anonymously? Yes. Anybody who has knowledge about the abuse, mm -mm. Uh, sa neighbor, kahit saan, kahit mm -hmm. ano, uh, they can uh, report the case to us, mm -hmm. to the police, to the barangay, and then uh, hahanap tayo ng ebidensya. Uh, okay. <laughs> and okay. also the law provides that it can be filed on behalf of the victim, yes. right? Yes. By, uh, by, by, by of course, parents, yeah. um, any relative, na on, up to the fourth degree, kahit pinsan mo, pwede mm. mag-file on your behalf. And also, yung nakakatawa dito, two responsible citizens from your community. Yes. Kung alam nila. Yes, right. yes but we, we find challenges here. Mm -hmm. Kasi uh, normally, if, even the, the respondents, uh, or I mean the offended the party, part. like they lose their interest in pursuing their cases. Kaya napakabihira or... No. Yung, mm -mm. Yeah. So in this case, no. Vanessa can file it on her behalf of her best friend. Kung yes. alam niya yes. na. Now, reality check. Uh, have there been men who got jailed or imprisoned because of this act? Or sa umpisa under? lang. And then they bail out. And then sa conviction, I don't they know settle. any yet. They, they, they just settle it? But yeah. it's good na rin kung nagsettle, yeah. di it's common, it's common to settle, no? It's yeah. common to settle. First of all, there are a lot of um, factors that would lead a woman to settle, you know, to not proceed with the case. Economic reasons, family, you know, social yes, reasons, yes. you know. For fear that they lose, will lose the support. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And another big reason is the delay also in the in the cases that were, you know, yes. you know the proceedings and so, all. And it's Reason. also a fact that uh, they really don't come out because uh, for fear, for... Uh, because they are ashamed na pinag-uusapan yes. sila so, sa... Uh, attorney, uh, attorney Claire and Colonel Teresa, we have a few minutes left, but I think we can use this uh, to recap. Uh, one, I think something I'd like to emphasize is don't be deceived by the name of this law. It's called Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children. So lahat ng tao iniisip agad, ah, pagka meron lang yan, physical abuse. But the important highlights of this law, Kasama dyan yung psychological abuse pag hinaharas kayo, repeated verbal abuse kung lagi kayo minumura for instance, and even economic abuse, yung pagkakunwari, uh, hindi kayo binibigyan ng support, support. Or, or katulad ng yung tumawag sa amin na caller kanina, or even pineprevent. if pineprevent kang magtrabaho no? from pursuing a legitimate profession, or kung ano rin, dinideprive ka ng custody, ng common yes. child nyo, and you don't have to be married to the person para ma-demanda nyo. Perfect. Okay. Ayan. So, and, uh, any, and for, for uh, any uh, parting words, uh, attorney, attorney Claire? Uh, yeah, any, tips, uh, basically. Tips? Yeah. yeah. Last tips. Well, yeah. I just like to go back to the words of Vanessa, which is very, very important that, you know, no one has the right to do that to you. Just because you got married, just because you committed in a relationship, <clears throat> it doesn't mean it's not a license for a person to abuse you. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, the more that that person who's, who declares his love for you should uphold your rights. Okay. Okay. And that's very important. Turn For our women, let's not uh, let somebody abuse, abuse you and uh, just report your cases to our Women and Children Protection Desk. In all stations, we have those. Yeah. And then we also have our hotline, which is 0919-777-7390. You can just text and call. Okay. Do we right, have that number? Much. Yeah. yeah posted. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Colonel and Attorney. Of course. Thank you so much you. for those who are texting me about battered husbands. That's another topic altogether. <laughs> All right. I'm having a complaint. Hi, Kanina. How do you manage my abuse boyfriends? So you're husbands. not covered under the law, unfortunately. <laughs> We're not covered, guys. But if yeah. it's covered by the revised it's, penal code, by the revised penal code, code. and we, we'll probably take that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. That's all the time we have for tonight. We'd like to thank our guests for joining us tonight in discussing your rights on this very sensitive topic of domestic violence. I'm Attorney Ron Nepomuceno. We would also like to thank all our viewers for supporting us on Facebook and Twitter. Before we end, we'd like to read one of our viewers' posts on our Facebook page. Earl Havillonar wrote, Hi, I'd like to share how I recently had the first-hand experience of benefiting from watching your show. I was booked on a flight with three friends when the airline informed us that our flight was cancelled. It was a good thing I had just watched your show where you touch on the air passenger's bill of rights. 
I referred to the cab website and insisted my ride to be booked on the first available flight. With my persistence, they agreed to book us on the next available flight, gave us refreshments, and even gave us a free flight each. It pays to watch Legal Help Desk. Kudos to your show and please continue to enlighten non-legal persons such as myself of my lawful rights. Join us again next Monday for another round of discussion as we talk about your legal rights on the issue of labor premiums such as overtime pay. I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno and good night.